Great day, it's Amanda. And I just wanted to come to you briefly on the topic. That topic is pieces of choice. Now listen, I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to encourage somebody who may be on the scope today with me. My disclaimer is I stand on the Psalms, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So in this walk with God, you got to understand that God can use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. You know, a lot of times people don't understand where you may be coming from. I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. I know that peace is a choice. Um, and there's a word for peace, shalom. And it means nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. When you develop in your walk as a believer, your faith begins to grow. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So I don't get on here as a perfect vessel, but I get on here as somebody who will give their testimony. In December of 2015, I was hit by a car, and I survived with my life. Amen. Now, I can't talk about it right now in too much detail because the case is still pending. Amen. Hallelujah. But I can testify and say to you that peace is, in fact, a choice. You know, as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. Don't ever let hell become your spokesperson. Understand that as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. There are many people who may want to try to put you on a box, try to stereotype or marginalize your life. But faith levels the playing field, as I heard one of my teachers say. Faith levels the playing field. They might not have said it exactly like that, but I'm paraphrasing. My point of the matter is that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So if faith is available, peace is available. Amen. Peace is a choice. He says when you enter into a house, first say peace be unto this house. You know, um, I'm not going to elaborate on that scripture, but when you have some time, you can go back, you can look it up. You know, I admonish you what the Bible admonishes me, you know, to fellowship with other believers. It's so important, hallelujah, to understand that God said it's not good for man to be alone. Hallelujah. The purpose of fellowshipping with other believers is not so much for God, but it's for us. He says one could put a thousand to flight, two could chase ten thousand to flight. He also says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let everything be established. You know, inward peace is one thing, mentally assenting. This is my consecration time. Hallelujah. But also peace can be shared amongst others. Amen. So I'm not going to get on here and say anything you haven't heard already, but let me tell you something. The devil is a liar and he is defeated. Get thee behind me, Satan. Don't ever let hell become your spokesperson. Hell, I mean, yeah, peace is in fact a choice that you can make here. Amen. I don't care about being sized up. All things work together for good to them who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. It tells us that in Romans 8. I'm not going to sit here and throw a whole bunch of religious rhetoric that, at you. But the point that, of the matter, it don't matter how the enemy comes against you and we bind any type of stuttering. Now that I'm rustling just to speak here. Devil, get thee behind me in the name of Jesus. That means I'm about to say something good that the devil don't want me to say. Woohoo, too late. Ha, I said, you can't size me down, devil, because all things work together for good to them who love the Lord, who are the called according to your purpose. Somebody need to shout right there. I don't know who's on the line with me, but I'm getting more amplified as I go on. Peace is a choice, my friend. Don't let the devil pull your strings. God said he has ordained peace for you. He said he leads us in a path of righteousness for his namesake. He says we got to forgive 70 times 7 in a day. Hallelujah. Do what you got to do. I don't know why the shadow is over my forehead, but I'm here to let you know, my friend, my brother and my sister, that peace is a choice that you can decide. I don't like having my head on a tilt. Look, I got a choice if I want to tilt my head and I don't think I want to tilt my head, Holy Spirit. But anyway, peace is a choice. Hallelujah. A merry heart do it good like a medicine. You know what? Somebody on this scope need to get their mind right. Hallelujah. You've been taking things way too seriously. Yes, sit down and count the cost, but understand that as a man think of in his heart, so is he. Hallelujah. You can speak what you're going to speak out of your mouth. You can call things that be not as though they were. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Hallelujah. I will stand up right now. He shut up our and testify of his goodness. Because peace is a choice. Don't let the devil put you in that corner. We bind ego entanglements in the name of Jesus. The worst is behind and the best is yet to come. I don't care what your situation is. Put a demand. Hallelujah. On the peace that God. Hallelujah. Has dealt to you on today. He daily loads us up with benefits. Hallelujah. His compassions are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. My friend. My brother and my sister. I hope that was able to encourage somebody on today. Who shut up Forgetting those things that be behind. Hallelujah, press towards the mark. And it will make peace a whole lot easier. Mm-hmm. Well, until next time, my friend, shalom.